Hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the TCU Horn Frogs and the Houston Cougars. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I'll tell you what, you get Shock City, especially if they come out and make shots early. I think it's essential when you're an underdog, you got to protect the basketball and make shots early. Put pressure on the team that's the favorite. The Cougars should be able to put this team away early, Dick. What's the key to them doing that tonight? Hey, Brad, for them tonight, the keys are as follows. Number one, I look for the point guard to be in control of the team out there. He's got to be the leader. He's got to be the boss. He's got to be in command. Next, get your man on your hip after the shot. Block out and get after those boards. And lastly, don't be passive defensively. Be the initiator and force them to do things they don't want to do offensively. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. He goes to the free throw line. Makes the shot. He tries to knock down the three. You betcha. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Looking for a good shot. The small forward with the ball. From the top of the circle. Dumps it in. The center takes the feed. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Has a nice look at the basket. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. The shooting guard gets the ball. He puts up the tray. Goes. The ball handler might be in trouble here. Up and in. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. On the inside, leaning in, trying to draw contact. Get out of the way, baby. That was absolutely sensational. In the paint, they go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The point guard gets the pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. There's the pick. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. He does the sweet fake shot. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Trying to go inside. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. The ball goes out of play. by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. For two. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. They look to get it to the inside. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Tries for two. Scorches the net. Oh, 
Trying to feed inside. Jumps into the defender. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. He's got a nice shot fake. He pump fakes. With a little baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. The shooting guard takes the pass. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes up for two. Whitehead fakes the shot. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy at the sideline. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. For two, perfectly executed. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Oh, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. He shoots from left of the circle. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their poise is beginning to fade. Dump it inside. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. The Cougars have a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? There he is, strips the ball loose. Patterson is feeling great right now. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. Oh, what a strip, Brad. And the ball goes out of play. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. Post flasher is open. That's a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. TCU is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Looks at the three. It sticks. Kicks it out. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. Great. 
Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. A little frustration right there. And momentary look from three-point land. Off the rim and no good. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Tries for two. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Looking for a good shot. Shot's there if he wants it. Leans in. TCU are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Jumped in front to take it away. They'll work it around the arc. Stolen away. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. Moving it around the perimeter. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. He attempts the three. The Cougars have got to continue to get him the ball. Yeah, he's on fire. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Looking for a good shot. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> he shoots from the baseline. Gets it to fall. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. One too many dribbles and a steal. Look at that spacing. Kicks it out. Fires away. Houston are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Yeah, they're really starting to put on offense. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dick first half here in a pretty good ball game. Not quite what we expected, but uh, you know the favorite's still in it. Well, I'll tell you what, if I'm the underdog right now, I gotta get a timeout. I gotta look in the eyes of each kid and say, we gotta take it up a notch because they're starting to respond now to favorite like they were supposed to. They work it around the perimeter. Dickie's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They get out on the break for the bucket. Gets it to go. That's a 10 nothing run.
You think they switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brian. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He goes for three. Great shot. Turnover. And we're not talking Apple turnovers either. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Takes away the pass. Trying to draw some contact. And he scores despite the hack. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He unloads a three, way off target. Nice move with a face up. I tell you what, there's the block. Transition opportunity coming up. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. On the outside. Trying to draw the foul. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Work the perimeter. And a momentary look from three-point land. He tries the three ball. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. There's the pick. There's the roll. He gets the rejection. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Up and inside. The kick out. He shoots from long range. That's an ill-advised shot. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Steals a pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Moving it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Tries for two. And in and out. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Working it around the perimeter. Fake. Nice high post screen. For the bucket. Let us show you the replay on that one. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He bombs from outside. On the dribble, gives it up. For two. 
Great play to take that to the basket. Great anticipation defensively. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Up and inside! And now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes his first. the second on the outside that spin moves not going to work against this defense that's a no no baby defensive player beats him to the spot Here he comes defensively on him on the low block hit. I tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. They let him get into a rhythm. <laughs> this place will be in complete chaos if this defense can get a stop right here. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Roll it back again, fellas. If they can get a basket here, Dick, this crowd will erupt. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. From downtown. Drains the shot. Replay of the night, baby. to take that to the basket. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Sets a screen for his teammate. Dick, I don't know if the glass is half empty or half full, but it's about half full in here. Yeah, it's about half full right now. That doesn't give you that emotional setting that you like as a home court. Gets his first. Good. Shot clock is dead. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. There's the trap. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. After one half of play, these teams are all knotted up. It's been a tight one thus far, Mr. Vitale. What play do you think set the tone here tonight? The threes were the key for me, Brad. In my books, this shot sparked morale more than anything. When you're hitting threes, everything else comes a lot easier. The teams are just about ready to start the second half. Dick, let's see how this one unfolds. 
Houston is shooting very well from the floor right now, Dick. They're getting good looks, man, and they're not letting them go to waste. That's how you win games, man. Offensive execution. Everyone likes to see the lower-ranked team beat the higher-ranked team, it seems. I like to call it David versus Goliath, rooting for the underdog. And a lot of times, Brad, the underdog surprises everyone and steals the W. The center gets the pass. Good fake. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Perfectly executed. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Now on the break. Jumps in. Basket falls despite the contact. Too much. That's a foul. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. They work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. On the dribble, gives it up. He dials long distance. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Hey, Brown, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Definitely a foul. We thought this game would be a sellout, Dick, and it's not. I'll tell you, a lot of empty seats here. It's only half full. He comes away with it. Fast break opportunity here. Looking for contact. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He'll go to the line. Gets it. Standing ovation, you've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Look at that spacing. Turns it over. In all alone. Looking for the foul. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Now they work it around the perimeter. In the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took them to the basket. This one deserves another look, Brad. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. The ball goes out of bounds. 
And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Here's a flash from the high post. Entry pass in the paint. He shoots from outside. The Cougars have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. With a great block. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Can't get the shot to drop. He puts it in with contact and all. They'll work it around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts it up, looking for contact. Up and inside. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Great play to take that to the basket. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Oh, we got to replay that one. Jumps into the defender. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. game dick for that reason alone my goodness it's chaotic in here he blocks the shot gave it up Defense is right up on him, not giving any open looks. For two, the Horn Frogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Daddy's on fire. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, took a chance, and he lost, baby. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. And I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Low block, leans in. That's absolutely sensational, even the second time. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. Oh, yes. He 
strips him clean. Nothing's going to come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, possibly the ground. Whitehead is encouraging the fans to keep cheering. Hey, Brad, I think he wants the crowd backing him up on his next possession. The Cougars are behind by seven. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. The fake. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Side. Looking for a good shot. They work the perimeter. Picked out of the air. He should have an easy bucket here. For the bucket. Makes it. He tries the three. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. <laughs> he tries a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Got a nice screen. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He nails the bucket. The Cougars are behind by 11. The Cougars have a number of seniors in their lineup. That factor alone will definitely help their cause. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, this was something before the game the coaching staff warned the players all about. Don't believe in all this pre-game hype. Looks like some of these guys were reading too many newspapers before tonight's game. Intercepted. And the ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. The center takes the pass in the paint. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. He drains it. That's seven unanswered. He shoots from the top of the circle. The Cougars have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. They work it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. TCU are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Strips the ball. They get it out into transition. Goes up for two. He drains the bucket. The Cougars are trailing by 14. He throws it up from downtown. 
The Cougars have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brady's on fire. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect to say, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. With the fake. Fakes it. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. And he scores despite that. Let's go up to the booth and review that one. him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Jump hook from the low block. Doesn't go. Looking for a good shot. Jumps in. Houston are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they're starting to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. In the paint. Nice fake. He looks for the bomb. Off the rim and no good. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Up, easy one. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. On the dribble, gives it up. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Goes in. And that one's blocked. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. He hits the shot. Lane, four, four, three. On the outside. Top of the key. He shows the sweet touch. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. Working it around the perimeter. The center takes the feed. From right in the circle, off the rim and no good. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. With a sensational block.
try to come up with a steal, and they do. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. They'll work it around the arc. He looks for three. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Gave it up. Lane handles the feed. Great defense. The kick out. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Houston are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. away the pass on the dribble gives it up goes up for two perfectly executed they work it around the perimeter Booker handles the pass and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot the shooting guard takes the pass. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He's money with a shot. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Grace in the paint. Looking for contact. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Timeout's been called. So let's check in with Aaron. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. And I think she's right about that, Richie. We're about ready to start things up again. The lead is six. Hey, a tray here in this place will go absolutely bananas, Brad. I can feel it. Dump it inside. He goes for the trifecta. He hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. And the fans here are loving the action. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. Double team now, bad angle. Steals the ball. Now they'll push it the other way. For the deuce, he gets it to fall. Let's get back out on the floor. It's a one-point game. One point usually means free throws, Brad. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Is that what you'd call a next-level play? Well, it's definitely a big-time play in this game right now. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. And yet another foul. Nobody likes this point in the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. 
And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Misses the second shot. Timeout on the floor. It's a close one. The trigger fingers are getting itchy, baby. This one's too close to call. They might try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. The lead is down to a bucket. Hey, this place is about to explode. It's dynamite, baby. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. see if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Throws up the prayer. Comes up empty. Dick, looks like we're staying for a while. I'm not going anywhere. This is what it's all about, Mr. Neslo. Regulation couldn't solve anything. These teams are headed into overtime. Nick, this is why paper and basketball are two different games. On paper, this one shouldn't even have been close in regulation. And we're going overtime. I tell you, it's been Shock City all night. And I'll tell you, Brad, it's going to be essential in the OT to take command as the underdog because they're going to get every bit of a challenge now from the favorite who doesn't want to leave here with an L. He shoots from the top of the circle. <laughs> tell me this ain't the play of the night, Brad. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. In the post for two. Easy one. That's basic. Takes the pass in the paint. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Now they work it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. The crowd really admires this young man. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Dunn comes up with it. Let's it fly. It's good. Is this home court advantage or what? Taken away. Only one basket away from the crowd being absolutely thrilled. Robs him of the ball. For the bucket. The land. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. He launches the bomb. He can't get the bucket to fall. Finger roll. How about this? Looking for a good shot. Controlling the ball. Steal. Patterson receives the pass. Three, three. 
He shoots from the top of the circle. Misses the bomb. Basket falls despite the contact. And a momentary look from three-point land. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. The ball goes out of play. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I'll tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. The shooting guard with the ball. They're working around the arc. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And the ball goes out of play. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few in your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, and an inside presence will separate your team from others. Quinn receives the ball. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Here's a double team. He throws it up from downtown. He couldn't get it to fall. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Dump it inside. Intercepted. He saw that developing. He was right there when the ball left his hand. Unloads a three. He buries it. So time out on the floor, and that gives us a break to go courtside. Here's Aaron. Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. All right, thanks, Aaron. There might be a change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. Shot clock is dead. In the paint. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Can't get the shot to drop. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Gave it up. Strips the ball at the horn. He misses the tray. Can you handle another one, Dick? You betcha. This is the burner I was hoping for. Add more time to the clock. We're heading to a second OT. I can't imagine what the emotions of both these teams must be like. We're in another overtime in a game that wasn't supposed to be close in regulation. I'll tell you one thing. What a great effort by a bunch of kids that weren't supposed to be in this game. Just goes to show you, it's all about performing, not about reading your press clippings. Now they work it around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The Horn Frogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding them the ball. It's simple. He's got an open look for the shot. The defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Moving it around the perimeter. Stolen. They work it around the perimeter. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Doesn't go. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Pick 
blocked off. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Picked out of the air. This should be an easy two. For the bucket, the land. Great shot block right there. They had some good movement on the offensive side. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. There's a double team waiting there. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Tries for two. Rims out. He puts it in with contact and all. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Looking for a good shot. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. He's a three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. He takes it away. Cross court for two. Great shot. Picks off the lazy pass. For the bucket. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. We got a timeout on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end of game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end of game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. Aaron's right about that, Dick. I get a feeling they've changed things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Pushing that basketball. It's stolen. Hey, this crowd will be ecstatic if they can get a basket. Step out on that screener. Goes up for two. Lays it in. Tio called. Hey, we got a barn burner here, baby. I'm thinking last second shot for the win, Mr. Nestler. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. That shot makes it a one-point contest. Hey, it's anybody's game, baby. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. They cut the lead to two. Hold on to your seat, Mr. Nestler! That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Takes the pass in the paint. Trying to stay with him defensively, and he's going to pick up the foul. Oh, what a terrific job exploding the basket. Poor job defensively letting him get the ball that deep. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the shot. 
They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. He misses the second. He brings it down. Up and inside. For the deuce. Easy one. Timeout on the floor. It's a close one. The trigger fingers are getting itchy, baby. This one's too close to call. Sometimes timeouts can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here. It's down to a one-point game, Dick. Yes, sir. This is where the big boys start to play, Brad. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He gets the shot to fall. Play about ready to resume. With the big shot. He misses from long range. Houston gets the job done in overtime. They expected to be the victor. They just didn't expect it to be this close. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.